Hello guys, in today's video we are going to create an error interceptor in Angular. Here I have a basic Angular structure created by using uh, Angular CLI and typing ng new and the name error interceptor. So uh, this is the structure and here in this app folder I'm going to create a few uh, two folders. The first one is named core and the second one is named interceptors. And into this interceptors folder I'm going to create our error interceptor. So right click here as I'm using Angular schematic extension. Uh, I'm gonna uh, click here and generate another schematics. So choosing interceptor and typing error. As uh, when creating error interceptor, we automatically get error that interceptor extension. So we would like wouldn't like to repeat uh, the name. That uh, in that case we would have uh, error interceptor that interceptor that ts twice. So just type error, hit enter, and that's it. If you're not using this uh, extension, uh, the basic basic command is here: ngg interceptor core slash interceptors slash error, and that's it. So, as we have here uh, this error interceptor created, uh, I'm gonna see, or we are going to see what what we have here. So we are actually interceptor intercepting requests, uh, HTTP requests here, and now here and in the end uh, of this return, uh, we are going to we are going to add the pipe, and into this pipe. Uh, we are going to add some uh, a logic for catching errors. So here uh, we have a catch error from uh, RxJS operator. Catch error. And uh, we're getting an error as a function, actually error function. And here we, are, uh, we have to do some checks. First of all, we have to check uh, if this error, if if this uh, error is instance of uh, error, actually error or failure, is it error or failure? So uh, to do that, we have to do the following. If error instance of instance of HTTP error response. So we would like to see if it's error, HTTP error response, as you can see here in the explanation. After that, if it's not actually, we'll add else and add just console log and error and error occurred. We're doing this as we want to do some other things. Also, catch error is returning has uh, we have to return something here, and we'll just by default return throw error, throw error, and error function here, new error, and uh, we'll just uh, log this error that stays text. So this is the thing, these are the things to do here. So we, in the end, we are returning just throw error, and new error and status text. So you could add anything else or status, just status code or anything, but I'm returning status text here right now. Okay. And here, uh, as we checked, if this is uh, instance uh, of HTTP response, the, another check we have to do is uh, check, is it error in scripts or files? So to do that, it could happen that this is uh, this is some kind of uh, error in our file while calling the some endpoint. So to check that, we have to do the following: if error that error instance oops, instance of error error event. In this case, we'll just log. error event. So I'm just logging these messages here 
just to have them like this in uh, for the testing purposes you could do any other things but the main thing uh, we are doing right now is catching uh, specific errors here and that is uh, done by using uh, this state here so uh, if this is not instance of error event actually if it's not happening in a file actually it is happening on the server uh, we are doing the following I'll use switch case here and I'll check for error status error status gives us uh, codes for errors so as you know we have a, a these codes uh, going uh, from 100 to 500 so 500 something uh, but uh, the range is from 100 to 500 and something so uh, I'm gonna use this uh, HTTP state that US actually HTTP status and uh, here's a list of error codes you could get actually not of uh, not all of these are error codes as we have these uh, different types of uh, status codes so 100 codes are uh, just uh, informational and 200s are success codes uh, 300s are red redirections uh, 400s are client errors and the five, uh, 500s are server errors so we are going to use these from far 400 to 500 here okay and now i'm just going back uh, to this uh, uh, to the code here and we're catching some of these in this case in the, this tutorial i'm gonna uh, catch 400 to 1 403 404 503 and that's it so we'll add a case and say okay 401 and uh, we'll just log the message And we can uh, use this, sorry, error st status text. So it will log just status text here. This 401, I'll put a comment here for you, it means it is unauthorized. So uh, if you're catching these errors, you could also do some things, for example, like redirecting users to login page if they are uh, unauthorized to access something or do whatever you want with that log something or anything that somebody tried to access unauthorized uh, page or anything so uh, this is the case and we'll just add the break here so another one would be i'll just copy these codes here do not repeat myself so for all three why we said for all three yes and 404 and 503 okay this is unauthorized this one is forbidden and this 404 is not found when our api is wrong maybe or server does not recognize an endpoint and 403 is going to be for server error okay this is it for now we'll just uh, go back here come back here later on to do some other things and now to have this error interceptor and in error interceptor included in our application and actually to say to angular that we really want to use this interceptor as for now it is not doing anything it actually is doing nothing to our application so uh we have to go to app modules here and in providers we would add uh, an object here sorry uh, an object here and into that object we have to add a uh, thing uh, the key provide and that we are using here http interceptors uh, so the next one is the use class and into this use class uh, i'll add error interceptor our interceptor actually and the final one is multi and set to true this is just boolean as uh, uh, this http interceptors are multi uh, actually a type of uh, they, they support uh, multi-provider 
here there are multi providers uh, we have to use this uh, multi and set it to true we cannot omit this true uh, this multi key or we cannot set it to false uh, otherwise uh, we have to, we have to set it to true otherwise our application is not going to work so save this and also as we are going to use http client module we have to call it as well so this client model uh, allows us to make http requests so after doing this i'll create another folder here not in core but in a uh, root of the application call it http and actually I, in that http i store my api uh, services so uh, new service generate service api and hit enter so it is just running ngg service http slash api here okay and now in this service uh we're going to uh, call this uh, api uh, that i showed you a couple of minutes late, uh, earlier so here we'll just call some of these that we actually need and now uh, uh, in, in our constructor i'll find a new i'll call this uh, http client actually private http and type http client and that's it here and now as this is just for the testing purposes i won't add any uh, types or interfaces here for the uh, responses but because this is just testing for testing purposes and we're just uh, testing our requests not uh, uh, return the data as objects or anything else so we'll, uh, we'll add a, a few methods methods here so first one get for a one get for a one and i'll just say okay return this http get and now we are going we are going to use this uh uh, 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 HTTP status HTTP HTTP state that US and it's simple just type the error you want to get for a one actually the response you want to get it's useful for testing these things now I'll copy it uh, for more uh, three more times one two three and now uh, I'm changing this 401 to 403 and this 401 here as well 404 sorry 404 i'm changing it at, at both places as well and this is going to be 503 oops let's say 503 and this is it so we're getting these statuses here and now after doing this uh, I'm going to use this uh, app component here. I'm not going to create anything else. So this is just for the sake of this tutorial. And uh, in app component, uh, let's do the following. In the constructor, in the constructor, I'll define private API and call API service. Okay, here that's it and now get here i also have to call these methods 401 and this is just going and so going to call this api api and get 401 and that's it and we just have to subscribe to get it otherwise it's not going to call this api so 401 Four, three, four, four, and five, oh, three, five, oh, three. Okay, this is it. And in this uh, app component here, I'm going to remove everything here. And now uh, I'll create some heading H1 and call it the uh, error. Test error interceptor test. Okay, and I'll create uh, four buttons. As I'm using Emmet, I could use just this and type it like this four times. And 
call them lightest and for one for one get for three and get for four and get 503 okay so I'm just gonna put them like this here that's it and now in all of these I'll add the methods click event and get file 401 and that's it and now I'll just change them to oops far uh, 403 404 and 503 503 okay and now we are have to run this application to check the result ngs as a serve and i'll add flag open so after this compiler compiles uh, our application it will open in a default browser here so we have to wait a bit for it to complete it Okay, it is generating. Okay, here it is. We have a typo. It is error. Okay, so uh, now I'm co uh, calling our inspector here and going to this. Uh, first of all I'll, I'll get a network tab here i'll move this just a bit up to be able to see and maybe zoom it a bit okay now get far uh, 401 and we just need just xhr okay we're getting this uh, unauthorized here 403 we are getting uh, 403 get 404 we're getting 404 and 503 we're getting 503 response so as you can see uh we are getting uh, these codes here in the console we have to check we have unauthorized we have 403 it is forbidden we have 404 and we have 503 so this is basically it when it comes to uh, getting these error codes and handling them and now what we can do this is an extra step just to show you uh, we could use this uh, ngx toaster to show some toasts uh, to user when this error occurs so uh, to do that you're going to install this extension okay by going here and I'll open a new terminal here, pasting this command here, and we are installing ngx toaster and saving it to our dependencies. Just after that, um, as we already have these Angular animations in our package, so I, I, I hope we have them. Yes, we have them. Angular animations here. We don't have to install them again. So. Uh, to complete the setup here, uh, we'll add this as I'm using SCSS. So I'm going to use, I'm going to add it to our app component here, or actually style CSS, importing ngx toaster toaster from styles, and uh, we have to add this uh, call here as well so uh, package actually angular json and here in styles scss i'll just add this one here so it should be that uh, it should work like that and just to check in our uh, how to use this uh, we have to import toaster module here and also we have to add a few things in our app module so browser browser animations module sorry app module and imports here browser animations module that this imports is not rec recognizing for some reason but i'll copy it here okay it is here and also
toaster module for root here. Okay, it's toaster module for root. And this should work now. So what we have to do after installing and changing the things in our Angular JSON here, uh, we have to rerun our CLI. So we have to ngs. Now I'm not gonna open as we have it already. So uh, this is a step just to add some uh, visual uh, changes to our application, just to show user something uh, or uh, this error. So now as I am in this interceptor, so as I imported everything there, I'm just going to call this uh, toaster service. Have I imported? No. So let's try this. Okay. Import. Okay, we have it. And use here. Okay, private toaster and toaster service in our service. Okay, I'll add it in, the, in this interceptor here in constructor. So here, and just call it and that's it. And now here when uh, this uh, error occurs, I'm gonna add this, this toaster error. And in that error, I'll just uh, type, let's see that we wanna create, I think like this, uh, we have to provide here a string. So in this case, I'm gonna uh, use this backticks and call it as error that this text. So here, and also I would pre, uh, I would say that uh, this is authorization authorization error. So we'll just test this first example here and go to our application get 401 and as we can see we have this unauthorized here and this is authorization error. So we could add uh, this one as well to other requests. So I'll just copy this here and say OK forbidden actually access access error and uh, not found as well or let's say route so we have some kind of route error here and server error here we can remove these save and check authorization 403 access error 404 route error route not found and 503 service error service unavailable so this is it when it comes to error interceptors uh, here in angular so this is some kind of a basic structure and a basic logic that you can expand and do whatever you want so this is just to show you how to catch specific errors in uh, re requests uh, in Angular. Uh, in the next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, retry these errors, uh, actually retry uh, requests if an error occurs. So basically, if you want to retry uh, 40, let's say 503, usually you'll retry server errors to request uh, another, another another time or actually to give it another try to get some specific data so uh, if you like the video please like share or subscribe uh, and uh, also do not miss the next videos uh, from my side thank you very much and see you in the next one bye